I would really love the next generation of female innovators to be able to ignore people who say they can't do what they want to do and just go for it. I'm Dr Debbie Saunders, I'm the founder and CEO of Wildlife Drones and we've developed the world's most advanced drone radio tracking system. For over 20 years, Debbie has worked as an ecologist and studied the movements of small migratory birds. Frustrated with the limitations of manually radio tracking wildlife, Debbie developed her own drone-based animal tracking technology. As a, um, a conservation ecologist who used to bird watch for a job, I find it quite interesting that I'm now the head of a tech business. I started off in the shed in my backyard with a hacksaw and a drill to make my first antennas um, on, with the guidance of an RF engineer. I was writing command line for the first time. I was you know, actually constructing hardware and I'd never done that before, but I just gave it a shot. Wildlife Drones is now an award-winning startup. The tech is used by governments to protect endangered species and control invasive species. It's also used by NGOs to protect animals in the wild and environmental consultants doing impact assessments. When manual radio tracking by hand, um, typically we get a big handheld antenna and we have a handheld receiver. You can walk for kilometres trying to find that one animal. I can't pick up any of them from here. <laughs> but the drone was picking them all up. With our technology, we can track all of those animals at the same time. The drone does all the hard work for you by flying across those landscapes and providing you with location data in real time. Types of species that we've been tracking include kakapo in New Zealand, koalas in Australia, pangolins in Vietnam, and feral pigs and other invasive species in the United States. But even from the very start, the journey has had its challenges. We set up a really great project to showcase exactly what we've been able to achieve, which was a world first, which was the tracking of, of wild animals with, from a drone. We launched the drone after it was 10 metres in the air. It was literally rendered useless because of interference from some surrounding signals. So I was really devastated at that point in time. That actually was the beginning of wildlife drones because I was like, I'm not going to start a business if I can't address all of these weak points that we identified. When I very first started, I went and met with local drone groups totally men um, who are totally technical, didn't know the language that they were speaking, and yet here I was trying to set up a tech business. But I wasn't interested in the tech per se, I was interested in enabling people to do wildlife research. And so I think it's really important to not feel insecure about your knowledge. I employ people who have that knowledge. In addition to the right team, Debbie says surrounding herself with other women in the industry is important. I just really did want to have some female mentors. So I actually tasked myself when I went to an innovation networking event. I was incredibly fortunate to land next to a lady called Sylvia Tullock, who is an incredibly successful businesswoman in the tech space, in clean technology, and from there, I have actively outreached to other women and participated in uh, women's innovation programs. And there have been lots of lessons learned along the way. It's okay to not know everything. As a scientist, I always want evidence and data to make decisions, but often we have to make decisions in the face of no data. If I just keep taking steps, I will get there. And as long as you make sure you learn something when things go wrong, then you're always going to be stronger moving forward.